Hi guys, I'm Meredith Baselli. I'm an integrative nutrition health coach. I'm a mom of two boys, an athlete, and a creator of Well Rooted 30. So welcome to another episode of Healthy-ish. This is episode number two, if you're keeping track at home. Um, and this is a weekly show that is designed to help you sort through and make sense of the countless healthy choices that are out there on the grocery shelves. I want to help you be a more confident consumer and save you time and money in the process. Good morning, Carrie. Good morning, Marie. Hi, Cynthia. Great to see you guys. Um, so what I'm going to do each week is analyze the health claims on the front of a package and then turn it around and dig into the ingredients on the back of the package where the truth always lies. It's always in the back. So each week I will um, review and taste test a food, a beverage, a snack, a supplement for you. I'll be your guinea pig and then I will give you my honest assessment. Okay, so today, uh, last week we talked about the, um, the Bay uh, antioxidant drink that had um, the erythritol in it. So hopefully since then, you've been checking labels and have been avoiding um, those sugar alcohols that upset our stomachs. Um, this week, we're going to dive into a really timely um topic and product and that is collagen so you if you've looked around um, at the store or in magazines or just heard ads um, you know that collagen is a hot topic right now um, so collagen is a protein okay so proteins kind of go in um, trends for a while um, it was um, isolated whey protein that was like the gold standard of protein then um, it shifted a little bit. People kind of became more interested in plant-based proteins, things like chickpea, um, pea protein. Um, and now, or, and I would say for the last couple years or so, um, the hot protein is collagen. So I want to give you a little bit of background on collagen before we dive into the actual product that I'm gonna show you and taste test for you. So collagen 101. Um, Collagen is the most abundant protein that's in our bodies. It's considered a complex protein because there's 19 different amino acids that make up collagen, okay? So it is found in our muscles, in our bones, in our skin, in our blood vessels, uh, in our digestive system, in our GI tract, um, in our ligaments and tendons. It is prolific, it is all throughout our bodies um, and naturally production of collagen starts to slow as we age. So that's a lot of fun, right? Um, so what does collagen do? It gives our skin strength and elasticity. So when you have like tight, supple skin, you know that there's collagen at work there. Um, it helps to build muscle. It helps to keep our nails and our hair um, healthy, as well as our joints and tendons, okay? So there are different um, sources of collagen. They're all animal-based um, proteins. So it can be, um, and it's coming from like the bones and connective tissues of different animals. Uh, it can be um, marine, marine collagen coming from fish, um, bovine protein coming from cows and we know that collagen starts to collagen production starts to diminish um, bone broth is an excellent source of collagen um, and making bone broth is a really healthy practice something that if you can do you know once a week or even once a month and then you can freeze it and have it on hand um, bone broth is great um, wild cod is another great source of collagen as well as eggs and gelatin and then what we're going to talk about today um, is collagen protein powder okay so just real quick going back to um, where collagen is found so collagen uh, it it lines um, our gut intestinal tract um, our gut lining um, helps keep the integrity of our gut lining which is really vital um, for our immune system um, about 60 percent of our immune system is found in our gut so we want to make sure that the gut lining is very healthy doesn't have um, uh, 
lack of integrity or like holes in it. So um, having collagen um, to help smooth all of that out and keep it um, keep it in integrity is a good thing, okay? So what I'm gonna show you today is my collagen protein, all right? So this one is made by Ancient Nutrition. It's, it's a multi-collagen protein. And what that means is that it's not just coming from one source. It's um, actually coming from five different types of um, collagen, type one, type two, type three, type five, and type 10. Okay, and this is a chocolate flavored multi-collagen protein. That's all good, right, on the front. Um, it says it supports healthy skin, nails, and joints, which is all correct. Um, and now I'm gonna read, go through the back of the label, find out a little bit more, okay? Or actually I'll read, there's a little more marketing on, uh, on this side of it, so I'll go through that. Um, this is, again, made by Ancient Nutrition, which is um, Dr. Josh Axe's company. Um, he's a great resource, a very um, holistic doctor. Um, he's based in Tennessee, I believe. I know this product is made in Franklin, Tennessee. Um, so you can, just a little nugget, if you want to follow him for um, even more great healthy tips, it's Dr. Josh Axe. So it says, Ancient Nutrition provides what our modern world doesn't. Easy access to simple whole food nutrients that help your beauty shine from the inside out. Our multi-collagen protein is uniquely formulated with five types of food source collagen to support healthy skin, nails, and joints. Um, you can try it in your daily coffee or smoothie, pancakes, oatmeal, or cookies. I don't know that you're having daily cookies so that you want to put collagen in your daily cookies and other favorite recipes. So um, then we get into the, um, the ingredients, the nutrition facts. One heaping scoop has 45 calories, two grams of carbohydrate, nine grams of protein, 53 milligrams of calcium, trace amount of iron, 11 milligrams of magnesium, 15 milligrams of sodium, and 110 milligrams of potassium. Okay, so then we get into the actual collagen complex, the multi-collagen complex um, in 10.2 grams, which is just a, like a generous scoop. Um, these are the different types of collagen that make up this this protein. Um, hydrolyzed bovine hide collagen peptides, eggshell membrane collagen, hydrolyzed fish collagen peptides, chicken bone broth protein concentrate. So you can see that it has a diversified um, source of collagen coming from um, bovine, um, fish, eggshells, um, and chicken. So uh, good and diverse. Other ingredients, organic cocoa bean, natural chocolate flavor, xanthan, xanthan gum, um, which is like a stabilizer, guar gum, um, another stabilizer, which is not great, but not terrible. Um, it's, it seems to be pretty harmless, but it's not like something that you'd wanna eat tons and tons of. Um, and then the sweetener is stevia leaf. So a non-caloric sweetener um, that we know from last week is very, very sweet though. So it's uh, just something to be aware of. If you have something that has stevia in it, you might notice um, sugar cravings kind of creep up later in the day. So just be mindful of that, okay? It contains egg, haddock, cod, and pollock. So again, uh, a variety of, um, of um, beef, chicken, egg, and fish proteins that go into this collagen. Um, having the variety of collagens is a good thing. There are other collagens that are just a, a pure uh, one source of collagen, but I do think having a diversified um, source of collagens uh, is preferred. Okay, so that's that. Um, now I'm gonna taste test it for you, okay? Um, so I'll tell you, normally, I use this in smoothies. So I'll just take a scoop of this and add it to my smoothies. Um, my smoothies are usually made up of a whole bunch of things, um, unsweetened nut milk, usually a little bit of frozen banana, um, frozen berries, a couple handfuls of leafy greens, um, and then some healthy fats. I'll put in a tablespoon of chia seeds or flax seed and um, a couple ice cubes, blend that all up, and that collagen, scoop of collagen goes in there. So I've never tasted it in its pure form, which is the way that they tell you to, to so they suggest that you take one heaping scoop 
with eight ounces of water or your favorite hot or cold recipe. So I'm trying it with just eight ounces of water in this little shaker bottle thing. Water and collagen, that's it. We'll see what it tastes like. Get it good and mixed up. It smells like, like Ovaltine or something. It's got a good chocolate smell. Um, it's not bad. It's, it's actually, um, tastes like sort of like chocolate water. <laughs> um, next time I would probably mix it with, um, a nut milk. Like my favorite nut milk right now is macadamia nut milk. It's an unsweetened nut milk. It's made by Milkadamia. <laughs> um, you can see it in those little, like cardboard cartons. Um, so the, the flavor is fine. I mean, I could drink this down. It's just eight ounces. You could get it down. Not a big deal. But the stevia, again, like the stevia is so strong and such a powerful aftertaste. It just like coats your mouth um, and it's so sweet. So I would, gosh, if I could suggest to Dr. Josh X to like reformulate it and and use less stevia, I just... I don't think it's it's necessary to have that much in it. It is it is like annoyingly sweet. Um, but anyway, so you could get this down pretty easily, just mixed with water or um, um, nut milk. Um, I know people will add it to their um, coffee in the morning to get that that extra bit of uh, collagen protein. You can even mix it in with hot tea. It dissolves, except not chocolate. <laughs> plain chocolate flavored, you wouldn't mix into tea. But there is um, plain collagen that's unflavored that you can mix into pretty much any hot drink and it'll dissolve and you'll get a nice serving of um of collagen that way uh, but my favorite way of using it is definitely in smoothies i think it blends in really nice it gives a you know a little chocolate flavor and then because there's a lot of other ingredients in the smoothie it cuts the sweetness of the stevia and one little tip about stevia if you have any products that have stevia in it um, and you don't like the taste um squeeze lemon juice into your smoothie. It sounds weird, um, but it cuts the, 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 um, the sweetness a lot. So it makes it much more palatable. Okay. Um, so as far as my rating, um, my official wild berry <laughs> wellness, um, five blueberry rating system. Remember five is amazing. Four is pretty darn good. Three is just okay. Two is thanks, but no thanks, not good. And one is junk, um, just leave it. I would say the ingredients in this are are very good. The, the combination of five different um, sources of collagen make it very diverse um, and good for our um, hair, skin, nails, joints, gut lining. Um, I'm not crazy about the amount of stevia in it um, and drinking it just with water isn't great, but adding it to a smoothie is pretty great. So I will give it a four, um, pretty darn good. It would probably be a four and a half if you put it into a smoothie, but just drinking it with water, I gotta give it a four. So pretty darn go good, I'd buy it again. Um, and yeah. That's about it. If anybody has any questions while we're on, I'd be happy to answer. Um, if not, I will let you go and get on with your day. I hope it's sh it's sunny wherever you are. It's finally warming up a little bit here in the Midwest, starting to feel a little bit like spring. Um, but I hope you get out, enjoy the day, get some sunshine, and I will see you guys all back um, next week same time, same place, and we'll tackle another, um, we'll tackle another product. Okay, wait, we have a question. I missed the brand. Okay, the brand is Ancient Nutrition. Ancient Nutrition Multi-Collagen Protein. It's made by Dr. Josh Axe, and you can go to uh, ancientnutrition.com. And what are the benefits of the five sources? So, um, as I mentioned Collagen has 19 different amino acids, and when you have a, a varied amount of sources, you get more um, variety of amino acids. It's not like all glycine or all one thing. It's, it's 
a varied amount, which, which is good. Our body thrives on diversity. We don't wanna be eating the same things day in and day out. Um, we like to mix it up. Um, our body really thrives on that. So hopefully that helps answer your question. Um, and if, you know, if protein powders are a topic that are very, that's very confusing to you, you feel overwhelmed, you feel like you, um, you have protein powder in your diet to get the protein that you need, but you're not sure if the one that you use is very good or you don't know what to look for um, in a protein powder, I would invite you to um, check out wellrooted30.com. That's my signature um, online course that gives you a wealth of information um, about nutrition and healthy lifestyle and just puts it into a step-by-step -step, um, system for you. And we have a whole bonus lesson on protein powders, on selecting the right one for you. Do you even need one? What to look for? What to avoid? Um, it's just, it gives you um, confidence and um, knowledge that you need when you're out making these um, buying decisions. All right, um, Juliana says, always looking for the best balance of nutrition, cost, and taste. Yes, absolutely. Um, that's that's what we're always <laughs> striving for, isn't it? Sometimes it's when you can find them all in one thing, that's a really good thing, but it's it's not always easy. All right, you guys. Well, thanks for joining me. I will see you again next week for another episode of Healthy-ish. Have a great day.